Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Yesterday I had Miranda ride in and she says that she's in Ohio in the United States and she says her mum has just been transferred from ICU to LTAC or long-term acute care after she had a tracheostomy and her mum is still ventilated. After a few days in LTAC it turns out that she realizes there is substandard care and treatment and she realizes that people in the environment don't really know what they're doing and she thinks it's dangerous for her mom. Well that's certainly something that I can confirm because we've worked with dozens of families who have their loved ones in LTAC um, and they simply want to return back to intensive care because they realize that their loved ones aren't safe in LTAC on a ventilator with a tracheostomy because quite simply it requires the specialist skills of ICU doctors and ICU nurses to look after somebody on a ventilator with a tracheostomy. So Miranda asks what she should do to get her mom back into intensive care. Well Miranda, the simple thing is that we need to help you with that and advocate on a clinical level. Your biggest challenge is that you simply don't know what you don't know and you don't know what questions you need to ask and you don't know how to advocate for your mom on a clinical level. We have certainly done that successfully with a number of clients and we've got some case studies and interviews on our website to provide the evidence for that. So Miranda, go and contact us or contact me directly on one of the numbers on the top of our website, intensivecarehotline.com, and then I can show you the next steps. Take care for now and I'll talk to you in a few days.